for the striper fishing. Uh, I caught one, Zach caught two. We're just out on this um, little sandbar. They're just casting, but oh my god. But look at this, guys. The horseshoe crab. Uh, we think Zach has a fish. Oh yeah, it's a striper, it's a striper. Oh yeah, you can stop reeling. Really. Nice striper. Oh my god, that's crazy. Oh my god, that's the smallest striper I've ever seen. That is so small. Nice little striper. Here, wait, I got you on my ball, just make sure it doesn't go. so far so we're doing a really probably half an hour we've been out here not even a half an hour like a couple minutes so, so we're gonna catch a ton it's a little one probably about right. I'm just gonna go measure on the back how many inches long 11 12 inches long it's a nice sure? nice little Yeah, just... No, you're fine. Oh, yep, yep, here you Nice one. Okay, that's good, that's good. <laughs> Nice one, man. Oh, I barely hooked it. Slide the knife under, make sure you don't, your fingers aren't in the way. Slide the knife back and you want to cut right in between there. And you can get it right to where that connects right there and then you just pry it open. And you really want to get, the best part is the foot where it digs with, because that's really tough. And you really, you want to get all of it, cut it out, cut all of that and you just You don't want it to pull out. You don't want it too big. Show them how and big then, that you so, want it. Just go put it on the sand over here. Cut little pieces, just like this. Cut a piece. This is if you're fishing for flounder or small, like things like that. You can use small. If you really want to get, this is about the biggest you should be using. Just not too big at all. Small piece, just like that. Um. And then you just put it on a hook and with a nice weight. Alright, so what we're using is. Wait, let me get it over. We're just using a four ounce weight. Let me get that to focus. Four ounce weights, and we're just using not a big hook, just a small little hook. And what we're doing is just putting this on it, this clam on it, just bunching it up and we're just casting it out there and we're catching them. So, yeah. Guys, I got a huge striper! This 
is a... It's oh. a Oh my god, guys! Guys, that thing's a big stretcher! I don't know if I'm even getting it. Yes, dude! Oh my god! Here, I got it. Here, hold my rod. Hold my rod. This is a nice striper. This is striper number five for us. It's quite um, keeper size, but we'll, we'll definitely measure it. And I don't know if we'll keep it, but no. that's a nice fish. Guys, that is a nice striper right there. Look at that. Woo! Okay, we're gonna let it go now. Oh, let's just we're gonna measure it. Um, I'm gonna end the video. Okay, so it's a 28 inch. Um, it's not 20 inches, but Go! I'm gonna get this. Let's get this guy. This is a nice fish. Yeah. He's grabbed nice. a lot of fur a little bit, so. Yeah. See if he'll swim away. Get him to. His mouth. Yeah, see if he'll. Oh! No, oh. oh. wow. Nice. Zach has another one. We didn't know that he had one on. Oh, I still got my bait. Came out right here. <laughs> oh, it hooks pretty deep in this tongue. <laughs> oh, it's bleeding. Nice one. Bleeding. Here. Put him down there. Bleeding and cut. Got a cut. This fish is hooked him right in the tongue. There he goes. Whoa! Really fast. Nice one. Maybe we caught a big one. one.